Hi there, welcome to another 20 minute Qigong flow. This one is all about generating and distributing your inner fire to help keep you warm. Let's start with heel drops. So coming up onto the toes and then dropping down on the ground. Just let the top half of the body relax so that the shock is moving up from the soles of your feet up through the body. And we're pumping up and down on the beginning of the kidney meridian here. So helping that upward flow of energy just breathe naturally as you do this. You should start to feel a little bit warmer. Then start to slow that down. You're going to stand with your knees soft and your spine straight and cross your hands over on the belly and start rubbing in clockwise circles. Inhale, feeling the belly expand and as you exhale through the mouth, Imagine that you're blowing on this tiny little spark that you've got in the lower dantian. So you're taking nice deep breaths in, fueling this inner fire. And as you exhale, blow and generate that heat using the breath, using your hands. Inhale deeply, feeling the belly expand. Keep rubbing and then exhale through the mouth. A nice long exhale, clearing out any stagnant energy. Inhale, fresh energy in. And exhale, blow on this little spark, this ember, slowly catching light into a burning flame. Keep rubbing. Keep breathing deeply. And start to observe the feeling of warmth growing in your belly. The spiraling of the hands is helping move the energy out from a lower dantian, radiating outwards through the lower body. Take a deep breath in and out and enjoy that warm feeling in the belly. We're going to start moving it up the body now. So with your knees soft, we're going to do some spinal cord breathing. You want to inhale with your hands out to the sides and then exhale curling forwards through the mouth. So as you inhale, slight back bend, tilt the tailbone and then curl the tailbone under as you exhale. Inhale, bringing that fresh energy into the body and then exhale any stagnant, stale energy down to the ground. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, exhale, curl it under. So this spinal flex that we're doing is helping move the energy up from the sacral area up the spine. Inhale, tilting the tailbone. Exhale, curling it under. Inhale, fresh energy in. Exhale, stale energy out. You can also modify this as you inhale into the back bend. You can give yourself a slight double chin so that you're not lifting your chin up. This is helping open up the cranial area. So all this energy moving up the spine is going straight in to the brain. And if you want to make it more dynamic and also help yourself warm up, you can even go a little bit faster. Try and keep the form correct. So you're tilting the tailbone up as you inhale and then curling the tailbone under as you exhale. And just find a pace that's right for you. Roll up with a straight spine, come back to centre and soften the knees. Give yourself a straight spine so the tailbone is pulling you down and the crown pulling you up. Palms face up, down by the hips. And inhale, bringing the hands up the torso as if you were filling your body with energy from the ground up. And then exhale with the palms up, just let them brush softly down the body. Then stretching the hands out to the sides as if you were gathering energy, inhale, and then exhale with the palms down, 
Exhale through the mouth, pushing the energy down through the torso. Inhale, bringing the energy up once more, and then exhale a little bit more emphatically, pressing the energy down through the body. This is from the Iron Shirt sequence. It's a really great way of filling the body with energy. Inhale, exhale, letting the hands drop down, nice and gentle. Then inhale, bringing the energy in towards you. Exhale a little bit more strongly, Inhale one more time, bringing the hands up and then exhale, squeeze the hands down, almost like you're pressing down clothing into your suitcase, trying to fit more in. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, draw the energy up the body. Exhale, gently release the hands down. And then inhale, stretching out to the front, gather fresh energy into the body, exhale through the mouth. Pushing the hands down, really squashing the energy into every single cell. Inhale, one more time, drawing energy upwards. And exhale, push it down, feeling the body fill with energy. Now we've got the torso filled, we're going to push it out into the limbs. So lift one foot up, take it a little bit wider, place it down and then with the hands either side of the leg, exhale through the mouth, pushing the hands down. So they're just hovering off the surface. Inhale, draw the energy back up the leg. Exhale, push down. So we're spreading this energy all the way down to the foot. Inhale, exhale, push. It's, a, it's more of a squat than a bend, this, if you can. Swap over to the other leg, drawing the energy up. And then exhale, pushing it all the way down. Inhale, draw the energy up. Exhale, push it down. This sequence is really good for your vascular system. We're really filling the body with energy all the way out into the extremities. Let's do both legs at once. Push down as you exhale, squeezing that energy all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale, push downwards. Let's do it one more time. And then having spread it out all the way down the legs into the feet, we're going to do the arms now. So inhale, hands up. Exhale, push out to the sides. Inhale. Exhale. The Iron Shirt is all about giving us a really strong, resilient body. This one is great for the vascular system. It also generates heat, so it's a really good one for cold weather. Now you're going to exhale and push your hands up overhead. Palms are facing the sky. Inhale. Exhale and push. Let's do one more of these. And then you're going to push your arms out in front of you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. And then having spread the energy through the body, we're going to refine it somewhat with this next sequence, which is referred to as smelting. So keep your feet in a fairly wide horse stance for this. Alignment, tailbone down, shoulders are relaxed, crown pulling you up. And then we're going to inhale and expand the body a little outwards. So feel the body expand, but as you exhale through the mouth, really squeeze everything your hands, your legs, your arms. So it's quite an emphatic exhale. Inhale, let the body expand out. And exhale, squeeze as if you were pushing this internal fire out through the body. Inhale, take the fresh fuel in and exhale, just intensify that inner fire. Inhale, expanding out. Exhale, feel the heat pushing out from your core all the way out through the body. Inhale. This really is a great one for generating heat. It's like a pulsing breath pattern. Inhale, relax and expanding out. And then exhale, really tense, exhaling through the mouth and squeezing in. and continue to generate and spread that heat through the body. Mm -hmm. 
Then inhale, spreading the hands out to the sides, palms forward. And as you exhale, draw your fists in like you're pulling two really heavy objects. Inhale, hands spread out to the side. Exhale, fists, really strong upper body here. It's quite a dynamic exhalation. Inhale, spreading the hands out. And then exhale, pull your heavy weights in towards the center. Then bring your hands so that they're facing in. And inhale with your palms facing the body. And then exhale and push the hands up and out, a bit like windscreen wipers. Then inhale, coming back to the center. And exhale, they swing down and out. So you're inhaling to center and then exhale, pushing up and out. Inhale back to center. Exhale, down and out. So you're still exhaling through the mouth, through the sequence. It's quite a dynamic out-breath. The idea is that we're purifying the quality of the energy that we built previously. Then put the hands back in fists, inhaling to center. Exhale, pull fists on a diagonal. So like you're wringing out a wet towel. Inhale to center, pull the other way. You're really strong in your core here. You're strong in your upper body. But as you exhale, you might feel like the fists are just floating on this current of energy. Inhale to center. Exhale, pull. You're creating a dynamic torsion, really, with the strength of the shoulders and the upper arm. Exhale, pull. And this time, inhale to center, you're going to exhale and you're extending the arms all the way out. Rotate the shoulders and inhale, bringing the fists back in. Then exhale and pull the other way. Rotate the shoulders, inhale the fists back into center. Exhale, pull. Again, keeping that strength and that dynamic quality in the body. The stronger you make this movement, the more internal smoothness that you can feel as you refine the quality of the chi in your body. Inhale back to center. And then place the fist down by the hips. Then step one leg forward in a bow pose. Inhale the arms out over the head and pull them down. Step back, other leg goes forward. Inhale the arms, big circle, cross over and then pull down. Again, strong in the upper arms, like you're tying a big heavy bow. Step the other foot forward. Inhale, big circle, cross and pull. Step back, step forward with the other leg. Inhale up, cross over and pull, keeping that strength in the muscles. Let's do it a couple more times. Inhaling up. Exhale as you pull down. Change leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. Then you're going to step backwards and reverse the movement. So the leg goes back, arms go up and across. Exhale, pull down. Step forwards, other leg goes back. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down, keeping that strength and that dynamism. So really strong exhalation and you pull with the muscles. Then come back to center and raise the fists up in front of the face like a boxer. Inhale to center, exhale, take the foot, stepping out to the side and punch out to the front and back, feeling the stretch across your body. Inhale back to center, exhale, step and punch. Really pushing the arms out front and back. Inhale, exhale, step and punch. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth, nice dynamic out breath. Inhale back to center. Let's do a couple more on each side. Come back to center, take the feet up to shoulder width, lower the fists and let's just do one big circle out, inhaling the arms up and cross them over the head. Exhale strongly, pulling them down to the side. 
and then give the hands a bit of a shake after that. We'll finish that sequence off with a little bit of tapping. So starting in the qua region, the inguinal crease, just working on getting any blockages out of the hip joint area. So go as firmly as you want here. This is also another good way to warm up, of course. Take the hands down the legs, coming up the inside, and then up and across over the chest, down the inside of the arm, and up the outside. So another really good reason to tap after we've done this is to help make sure that the energy is dispersed smoothly around the body, but also we're kind of waking up this internal chi that we've cultivated and we're inviting it outwards to give ourselves this really resilient outer shell which is one of the main advantages of doing an iron shirt practice it's really good for resilience for immunity and for body conditioning Then come back down into the lower dantian area and tap in clockwise circles from the groin all the way up to the solar plexus area. Just finishing off on the dantian. And then stand in Wuji for a moment, palms facing in, knees are soft, shoulders are relaxed, crown is pulling you up, tailbone pulling you down. Inhale, bringing the palms up, inhaling, and then as you exhale, just press the hands down the front channel of the body, allowing this energy to move down. Inhale, palms up, overhead, and exhale, gently allow the energy to fall down the body, showering you with chi. Inhale. Stretching the arms up and exhale. Allow the energy to move downwards. So just take a moment to let that energy settle after quite a dynamic practice. But I hope it warmed you up. <laughs> Thanks for practicing with me again. I will be back soon um, with another 20 minute inner fire flow to help keep you warm. See you soon.